Hi, my name's Ilma, and today I'd like to share John 4, verses 7 to 14, the well of living water. There came a woman of Samaria to draw water. Jesus said to her, Give me a drink. For his disciples had gone away into the city to buy food. Therefore the Samaritan woman said to him, How is it that you, being a Jew, ask me for a drink, since I am a Samaritan woman? For Jews have no dealings with Samaritans. Jesus answered and said to her, If you knew the gift of God and who it is who says to you, Give me a drink, you would have asked him, and he would have given you living water. She said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw with, and the well is deep. Where then do you get that living water? You are not greater than our father Jacob, are you? who gave us the well, and drank of it himself and his sons and his cattle. Jesus answered and said to her, Everyone who drinks of this water will thirst again, but whoever drinks of the water that I will give him shall never thirst. But the water that I will give him will become in him a well of water springing up to eternal life. John 4, 7-14 there was a long history of the conflict between the Jews and Samaritans that dated back in the days of King Rehoboam, where the Jews hated the Samaritans and they never spoke to each other. In this story, we see Jesus defying the protocols between Jews and Samaritans by speaking to a Samaritan woman. So the, the woman was bewildered why a Jew would even talk to her and ask her for a drink. In John 4, 4, it says that Jesus had to pass to Samaria he had a plan to meet this woman. It wasn't coincidence. He came to save this woman who had been thirsty all her life for living water, and she didn't even know it. Jesus starts a conversation with her by asking for water to illustrate what he already knows about her. He knew that she had been searching for something to quench her spiritual thirst. In verse 12, she began to wonder why this man was asked if he was greater than Jacob. His reply illustrated the actual dilemma she was in. He assured her that if she drank the water he gives, she won't be thirsty at all anymore and that it will be a well of water that springs up to eternal life. Jesus was explaining to her the difference of what his kingdom can offer versus what the world gives. The difference between Jacob's well and Jesus' as well is that the water from Jesus springs from eternal life, which means that when you have Jesus in your heart, you will never be feeling empty again. He fills you up and quenches your thirst. Reflection. Why do you think Jesus defied the protocol of not associating with Samaritans? And why did Jesus pass by Samaria to meet this woman? What was his agenda? Well, you know that Jesus defies the law because in, when he came to the world, uh, he is uh, exemplifying the love of God for all of humankind. So law is a protocol and because the Samaritans and the Jews, the Jewish leader, the Jewish uh, law and the Jewish leaders have this um, there's, there's some more history to it than, than what I just gave you, but it's going to be a long story if I do. But Jesus does not want to have anything to do with biases. So when, you, when there's, there's a bias against uh, something that the, the law has been, you know, the law is, is supposed to, you're not supposed to go and talk to a Samaritan. He doesn't follow these things. He is God, right? He knows exactly what's in the heart of people. So, because Jesus does not, uh, does not follow the law because he is the law, right? So, when he doesn't need to follow the protocol because he knows exactly what's in the heart of people. And he passed by Samaria to meet this woman because he wants to bring to this woman's attention what she has been searching all her life and she doesn't even know it. Uh, hopping from one husband to another husband, which we will later on uh, read in the next uh, part of the chapter, is 
just showing that Jesus' work on earth while he was on earth was to bring people to God and to save them. So I encourage you, um, get, uh, uh, bring yourself to be quenched by the well of living water of Jesus, not by trying to do something so that you, your thirst for something will be quenched because it's only him who can do that. So I encourage you to do that. Uh, focus on the Lord and He will quench your hunger for Him. Thanks for watching. I hope you check my website at ilmaarts.com for artworks and photographs. And I hope you subscribe to this channel so I can do more videos for you. God loves you so much and so do I.